Hey YouTube, it's Tom. I haven't done a video in a while, so uh, I want to share one with you. Uh, making a uh, cutting board for my daughter. Um, she liked this one so much. It's actually an antique. Um, you see it's pretty big. It's actually one piece of wood, ironically. it's uh, Actually, that's why it's dished so bad. But uh, I'm not going to make it out of one piece, obviously. I'm going to make it out of slats. And I'm going to use a combination of walnut, mahogany, uh, maple, and oak. We're going to biscuit them together and um, make one board. So let me take you through it. Okay, so what I have so far is a center section I'm clamping up. This is the longest piece, so that's where the handle will go. The reason I'm only doing like four at a time because this glue cross chains pretty quick. And by the time you get all those biscuits in and get it all painted up, and I have actually have trouble clamping it together because it starts to set up. So I'm doing it in sections. This section is already done. Um, and I got maybe four more to do to complete it. And what I'm doing it with the biscuiting, if you're not familiar with biscuiting, you can see these lines going across here. Those are where the biscuits actually go. And I've got one set up here. Um, that's a biscuit cutter, by the way. Um, it fits. Um, I'm holding the camera, so I'm trying to do this with one hand. Saddles like that, and you line up that um, that uh, red mark there, if you can see it. And you push, and it blade comes out of there and cuts a nice biscuit hole. And they line up. That would go in there. And then the two would go together once you glue them up, and it's extremely strong. All right, so I've got uh, four more to do, and then I'll clamp all three sections up at one time, and I'm going to be sanding my brains out, and uh, I'll share that with you when it's time. Okay, just a word, uh, word about truing these things up. What you really should do with these is have a joiner. A joiner makes a nice uh, true edge for, for gluing. Uh, I don't have a joiner. Uh, I do, however, have a shaper, and I could have used that with a, a flat blade, but uh, I didn't. Uh, and by the way, this is for sale. Uh, I live up in Northeast Pennsylvania. Anybody's interested in, in uh, uh, a shaper with a power feeder and a lot of tooling, uh, PM me and we can talk about it. So what I did do is I used a table saw, which is underneath all this mess. And the table saw just gave me a uh, true enough edge that I can uh, glue these together without the, a lot of problems. So what we're gonna do is um, take this guy apart and uh, I'll show you uh, what's involved with the gluing in the last section. Okay guys, so now we got these last pieces I'm gonna put together. You can see the lines on them. That's where all the biscuits join. Um, just a couple, a couple things. I went over and I grabbed all the biscuits that fit in loosely. Some of them you gotta tap in with a hammer. So if they fit in loosely, by the time I get them all together, if they have to shift side to side to get centered, it's much easier to do, especially since these will be uh, cross-chaining, the glue will be cross-chaining before I get way out to here, so it seems to work better for me. One other thing, uh, I probably can't see them on camera, but this grain is going down. And this grain is going up. You want to make sure that you alternate these up, down, up, down, up, down. For instance, if you put them all down or all up, that's the way the, the wood's going to go. So you want to try to always alternate your grains back. All right, one more thing I want to show you on these glue lines. I had a lot of 
a lot of heavy surface glue on here. What you do is you take a nice, uh, nice sharp pinch scraper and you just pull, pull those nuts off of there. And I have a, a I have a surface planer, not a, a big a hand surface planer, and uh, I really don't want that hitting all this glue, so. I scrape that all first and then we'll uh, hit the planer and try to get everything leveled out. And then I'll show you how that works. Okay, so we got. And now you can see how it's forming here. Make some adjustments. I'm sorry guys, I kicked out my GoPro plug. But we're all clamped up here. Um, it should be nice and flat along here. I had a little dish in here I had to take care of. And um, so you got a joint here and a joint here. Everything looks tight. Tomorrow we'll uh, take it apart and start the fun work. Looks pretty straight. I don't know if you can see that or not, but now, okay, guys, I got my circle. Uh, it's shorter than the original, but uh, still a good two-foot diameter, so be a good cutting board. Uh, this Grizzly um, <clears throat> GL640X is a combination of metal or wood. Uh, I just need to change the speeds on it and the blade. I have my thinnest blade in there right now, so um, I'm not going to have enough throat depth. I think I might get in trouble out here. I don't know, but we'll see how far I can get with it.